concern is survival. Needable passage to America. Survival is coming. He loves his land, and we will take it from him. We're gonna get them back. This must be done right. Vengeance, you see. Then it's you in prison, and the ranch is lost all the same. I know how much you've suffered. It's their turn now. Where did she go? Bring it back to me. Mayday, mayday. 1923. New episodes return February 5th, exclusively on Paramount Plus. He's not my brother. Once the DNA test comes back, it'll be over. Monday. Please find my son. So far, there's no witnesses and no video. We know nothing, we got nothing. She's hiding something. Who has your son? We got a hit. Open up or I'm gonna break the door down. It's a case with a twist. Oh my god. Where is he? Where's the boy? No one saw coming. Put down the gun. We know the truth. No! No, Nick! Nick! All new alert missing persons unit Monday at 9 on Fox. Payne Motors has been making cars for 100 years, but our share price stumbled another 12%. Everyone's met Ian, right? He's the best crisis manager out there. He has also worked. Nap, 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 nap. We don't talk about other clients, but let's just say to make him seem normal is a mission impossible. I just got a call from the Wall Street Journal. They're curious to know what we're doing in terms of going green. You know they wouldn't be doing this if I was a man. Holding you accountable? Mm-hmm. Why are you scratching like that? What's wrong? What's on your neck? Ew, is that herpes? Uh-uh. How can it be herpes? He's not having sex with anyone. It absolutely could be herpes, or I could have loads of herpes. Leslie, why are you naked under today? I thought we all were. I was working my Twitter, and I realized I was on Catherine's account. No. Well, what if we say she was hacked? Quick, Jack, give me some dick pics. You talking about from the internet? You, you talking about from me? I should call, baby. Give mama the cash, and mama will spend it. Mama buy something for baby, toy for baby. Let's maybe all just sit quietly at our offices for the rest of the day. Hurry, please. It's really bad. We need to cut this arrow shorter. The slightest bump could cut off his breathing. Wait, stop, stop. You came. People tell me things in here, things that I want to tell you. Give me a name. I will, if you promise to come back. You send people out there. What if something explodes? We should find another way in. Stella, we don't have time to debate this. Whatever is going on between you, fix it. You are my husband. I can't compartmentalize the risk. Maybe we shouldn't work together. He murdered my informant. Whatever you need, I'll get you. Chicago PD! What the hell are you doing here? Get your hands where I can see them! Can't get enough of me, assholes. <laughs> I always come back. We've been fighting so long against each other, with each other. It's hard to keep track. The training, the tournaments, the rivalries, the lessons. It hasn't always been smooth. But after all this time, we built something together to be proud of. So let me ask you, do you have one more fight left in you?
and I'm going to take care of you. What's it like being famous? I'm not famous. Yeah, okay. This is grief counseling. Anyone's invited to speak. People meet me and they think, she's the woman whose nephew survived the plane crash. But they forget I'm also the woman who lost my big sister. What are you doing? Uh, drinking champagne by myself out of a juice glass. I lost my husband, I lost my best friend. But he had another life. So I don't know how to piece it all together. After I got to 200, I lost count. Why is everyone writing to him? Because he survived. I know you want to run away. I want to run away too. But life has to go on. I don't know who I am. Join the club. I'm sure you've heard great things. Oh, you know, no secrets in grief group. My grandmother paved the way. And there is no one more committed to carrying on her legacy than I am. What happened isn't fair, Edward, but I'm going to do my best to take care of you. And that is the truth that will never go away. So folks, you know you mop it up. Well, you wanted it to hold it. New CBS next Tuesday. Katie Marsh disappeared from her home in Minnesota in 2012. A distressed teenager showed up in Madria claiming to be Katie. You're not going to believe this. There's a second victim. A new FBI International next Tuesday on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. CBS next Tuesday. Looks like an ambush and kidnapping. He works for the Chinese government. You need to stand down from this operation. This is a man's life at stake here. Sure this is going to work? One way to find out. New FBI Most Wanted next Tuesday on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. New CBS next Tuesday. City's under attack. This toxin has been weaponized. Grand Central with the possible WMD. Send everything now. Clear the station. We are out of time. A new FBI next Tuesday on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Sneak peek of the CW's Gotham Knights. Petty theft, grand larceny, assault. Are you really the Joker's daughter? Is that why you murdered Batman? I am going to find who did this. With no Batman, who's going to solve the murder of Bruce Wayne? They think I killed my dad because I wanted his money? I'm Robin. We have to go. We're going to find who really killed my dad. Look around. A bunch of thieves turned fugitives. Joker's delusional daughter. A sidekick. Batman's orphan. Anybody want to give me a crash course on being vigilante? We will no longer live in fear. Their new heroes are also their most wanted fugitives. Time to pick a side. Gotham Knights. New series premieres Tuesday, March 14th. Only on The CW. Um, hi. I'm on this next flight. Is it possible to upgrade? I can actually use my parents' miles if it's easier. Ma'am, your flight's been delayed due to inclement weather. This cannot be happening. All right, uh, and how long is the delay? I'm connecting in Hawaii to Tokyo? Hold on, let me check. I'm just trying to get to Seattle, and I'm three quarters of the way there. It's your fault, man. Is there a manager I can talk to? I know you got the juice. Air of superiority, yeah, defiant done. statements, well, sexy as hell, baritone. Not it's not possible. She's not saying anything, guys. Might as well pack your bags Could up it be? and go home, because the flights are delayed. <laughs> Aaron! What? Hi! You got 
have to be kidding me. It's gonna be a long one tonight, boys. Jimmy? Who's out there? All right, action! There's Dino set ahead! Let's teach him how to die! We should have a party. Keep it small and your parents won't find out, I promise. Just one of those stupid pranks! The reason to break up the party was... Oh! The aliens were using human skin to fuel their spaceship. I don't want my body to be alien fuel. Oh. This means war. Fuck space. How do you know I have good news? You have that look. Well, maybe I have resting confidence smirk face. You definitely have resting confidence smirk face, but you also have news. Living in Hawaii, you find that each day is like the one before. Everywhere you go, you can feel that aloha spirit. Seems your reputations precede you. You can tell if that was an insult. It wasn't a compliment. Today should be fun. Investigators. Sometimes you wake up and everything seems different. Like it's not just going to be another day in paradise. It might even be something better. Okay, breathe. We're gonna get out of this. And we're gonna go home. This place, it isn't what you think. It's a cage. But we can help each other. He's that monster. You cannot trust him. I'm just a man. But I know how it ends. I don't care what he can do. He's not getting out. You thought you could win. I don't have to win. We both just have to lose. Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Experience it in 3D, February 17th. Get tickets now. This season on Mayor of Kingstown. You ever seen anything like this before? Not like this. DA's calling it a mass shooting, Mike. Jesus. Welcome to National News. What the fuck did you do? The fucking massacre under your flag. I did not call that. That shit came from inside. We need new leaders in Tent City. We need to pick them. It takes time to find a leader. And right now, a leader tries to rise, and that motherfucker is dead by nightfall. Go. Go, Mike. She just ran away. Yeah. I have no hope. If Milo Sunter's out there, he will find her. Even saints have their breaking point. I don't doubt what hell that girl's been through, but it's not yours to live in. I cannot leave her alone. You can't even control your own people. You made a deal with Bunny Washington and the other generals. Deals are made and broken all the time, Mr. McCluskey. He's like you're talking to. You're not the man to me, Mike. I don't work for you. Down on the ground, man. 
negotiated the deal. You don't attack them while the leaders are inside. You want us to stop being police? Is that what you want? To rape my home, to terrorize my family, there's gonna be some payback. This only goes one way. You lose Bunny, or you lose Hinkstown. This town's gonna get locked down. If it's a war they want, it's a war they gonna get. This shit's gonna hit close to home. I know who you are. I know who your son is. This is on you. To make more bodies, be more chaos. There will be no peace. Something bad's about to happen. Just be ready. They coming for you. Next Monday on a new NCIS. What's going on? One of the guests called in a car fire not too long ago. Was there anyone in the car? So how do we investigate? I know how. I go undercover. You sure about this? The new NCIS next Monday at 9, 8 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Next Monday on a new NCIS Hawaii. Captain Dennison was found dead this morning. He was beaten to death on Leeward Beach. There was discord amongst the ranks. Possible you're looking for two attackers. Drop your weapon. You guys are looking for somebody else to blame. No, just the truth. A new NCIS Hawaii after NCIS. Next Monday on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. You got a problem here, guy? the secret. There's a darkness inside of me. It followed me here. And it's gonna keep coming for us. <laughs> we share a certain history. This isn't like any other ghost face. What is this place? A shrine. We've got to lure him in. We execute him. Hello. Let's play a game. You know you're like the tenth guy to try this, right? It never works out for the dipshit in the mask. Maybe. But there's never been one like me, Gail. <laughs> I'm something different. That's why I'm gonna shoot you in the head. You want me. So let's finish this. Guys? It's not easy, not knowing who you can trust. Franklin is going to war. Get the money, the money, money, dollar, dollar, million. Do it. In this right now. FX's Snowfall, the final season, February 22nd on FX. Stream on Hulu. Today just reminded me how truly magical it is to be a mom. I might be pregnant. Lois is missing. How could you just leave her? Life's worth stake. My daughter's life is at stake. Isn't this what you've been training for? I can't do this kind of stuff alone. We'll find her. Lois! We are going to get through this as a family. Superman and Lois. Season premiere Tuesday, March 14th. Free next day on the CW app. Come on, kids. <laughs> Security breach! Yay! I think I know where this is going. I don't, so no spoilers. 
any bright ideas how to break out of here? Ideally, in a way that parodies classic movies that's fun for both kids and their parents. You might say there's a lot of fury on this road. Consider yourself unfriended, Pinky. You mean in real life or on Chatstagram? Both. Oh, sad nerve. Giddy up! Time to raise the stakes! This year's going to be off the hook! I've got him! I've got him! I've got him! <laughs> Drum solo! You can't do this to us! We have more episodes to star in! <sighs> what a start to a season of TV, huh? And I will finally take over the world! Brain out! All right, now how do I end the call? I can't find the... Wait. Totally insane Excessive spit. Takey. We can't just do the same thing every time. After two whole seasons, the fans are served something fresh. Sort of like... Gothamites have a new generation of protectors. Their new heroes are also their most wanted fugitives. You almost revealed yourself to the entire world. I had it under control. You might be pregnant. How? Clark. We have to stick together. I'll be there as soon as I can. Superman and Lois, Gotham Knights, premieres Tuesday, March 14th, only on The CW. You ever kill one? Yep. Is it hard? Knowing they were people once? I'm taking you with me. We can just keep our histories to ourselves. You don't tell anyone about your condition. We try to keep you alive. You're not immune from being ripped apart. Frank, we will never have friends because there are no friends to be had. Just because life stopped for you doesn't mean it has to stop for me. There's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. It's going to be a busy day today. The heat wave has maxed out the power grid. Heat equals more violence. Power has been in and out for days. The manager called it in. I noticed the smell this morning. <gasps> How's it? Generator. We got it. Do you mind? You guys from this precinct? It's bad out there. It's only going to get worse. Up to Juarez is down. She's not breathing. Help is needed in an undercover op. They arranged a deal. Satellite tech in exchange for $2 million. This tech gets into the hands of our foreign enemies. This could be catastrophic for our Navy. We'll be undercover at the hotel bar, posing as hotel guests, servers, and bartenders. He's here. We've just been made. Let's move. The man fitting the description went inside. Then a medic. I want to call together a family meeting and sort things out like we used to. Give me a time and place and we'll be there. You're expected to appear in front of a disciplinary board. Cap, I was only doing what I thought was right. Save your excuses. You're on your own. So what's the message? They're coming after me. I order you to stand down! The storm's coming. I find some place you want to hunker down. Show them you don't have cards up your sleeves. Pants, too. What do we do now? Ride out the storm. I put my damn clothes back on now. No. no. White male, early 50s, jumped in front of a car. He's been tortured. Tell us who did this. Our victims were abducted, held, and tortured by the same suspect. What the hell happened in these woods? It's a driver's license. 
You're not in charge. Actually, I am. We should take this conversation outside. Okay, stop, stop. What are we expecting to find out here? Where the victims were kept. Home would move. New Will Trent, next Tuesday, to 9 Central on... 911, what was your emergency? It's raining frogs! Did you say frogs? We're back. This year is spectacular. Crazy. And quite a thrill ride. Ah! Buckle up. Our new season has more danger, more psychological pressure. My best life is when I have dragons to slay. The disasters are massively different than anything you've ever seen. Tell me that's not hail. There's a weather phenomenon with hail the size of basketballs. Nope, that's gorilla hail. And it can rain frogs. That was even weirder than the volcano. Nothing is weirder than lava at mini golf. Our emergencies are more epic this season. Anybody ever seen anything like this? We have emergencies we will never see coming. Things that I didn't see coming. That's uh, a hell of a parking job. This season, it's a steamy affair. It's gonna be crazy. The uh, weatherman said drizzle, so I park my baby inside. You think your daddy's okay? Yeah, just as long as he doesn't wear leather to the wedding. Tarlos is tying the knot. I love you. The road to the wedding has not been smooth. Can we talk? Are we surprised? You're a hot mess. As a firehouse, we're starting to grow up, and our characters have gotten to know each other and love each other more deeply. We're right on track in keeping our fans interested in our characters' lives that you guys have invested so many hours into. It's gonna be exciting, incredible. You guys are not ready for what's to come. Something that hasn't really been seen on TV before. The producers are not trying to make the audience feel comfortable. Everyone has a story to tell. You start off with this knowledge at the beginning, and you peel back all these layers. What would I do? It isn't benign. You're not going to watch this passively. Court is now in session. Will the defendant please rise? So the show is an anthology, which means that it's a different cast and a different story and a different setting every week. Every episode follows a different person who has been accused of a crime. It does start in the courtroom and it ends in the courtroom as well. But the whole mystery is unraveled through flashbacks. And so you're seeing these two storylines, past and present, converging. The perennial two main questions are, who is the victim and what is the crime? think you know where the story is going, and you almost never do. You can tell me the truth. I think it's about the journey you go through while trying to put the puzzle pieces together. You're constantly going back and forth, thinking you know what's going on, and then you hear something else, and you go, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, there are people who do bad things, but are they a bad person? The only way we get justice is by getting it ourselves. The voices, both in front of the camera and behind the camera, that we've gathered is extraordinary. From Michael Chiklis to Whitney Cummings, Malcolm Jamal Warner, Wendell Pierce, Rachel Bilson, Margot Martindale, Molly Parker, Abigail Breslin, Betsy Brandt, and this incredible all-star ensemble. And Michael Chiklis also directed a wonderful episode with Jason Ritter. We're doing an episode that Marley Matlin is directing. I think it's really important to be able to have that representation. Cut. Billy Porter is directing. Stories are being told about a cross-section of communities. People who have been pushed by passion, greed, by opportunity, sometimes just bad luck. One decision can change everything forever. We all make mistakes. All of us. I tried to kill me. Oftentimes, the only education that people get on others is through entertainment. Hey, action! I love how this show does explore issues that are so crucial in a very unflinching way. I like to think the show goes to a lot more unexpected places than simply guilty or innocent. Wake up! I just shot someone. I need an ambulance. Somebody's gonna see it one way and somebody's gonna see it another way. I just can't wait to see these episodes. What if he does what I'm afraid of? But my gut tells me that he will do. Has the jury reached a verdict? Hey, it's Ryan Eggold from NBC's New Amsterdam, and it's hard to say goodbye to Dr. Max Goodwin. It's hard to say goodbye to Dr. Reynolds. This show was so much more than we could have ever expected. It's been such a gift. It's hard to say goodbye to Dr. Wilder. And even though so much has happened, so many ups and downs, so many triumphs and tragedies, that core message 
of hope and optimism and of putting people first has stayed the same. I hope that's what fans take away from this. I hope it's meant as much to them as it's meant to us. All good things must come to an end. The relationships we've made on and off screen, they will stay with us forever. Thank you for watching. Love you and take care, always. Thank you for watching. We love you. Take care, always. Thank you for watching. We love you. Take care, always. It was only when I talked to Craig that I became extremely excited of what this adaptation might look like. We asked Nico Parker to play an incredibly challenging part. We have to fall in love with her. And she also has to be a specific kind of person, very different than the person that Joel is gonna meet later in the episode in the guise of little Ellie. It was important for us to present the audience with a Sarah that we felt we could follow for the rest of the series. She's almost the protagonist until disaster strikes. Something that Nico Parker and Pedro Pascal pulled off gorgeously. Nico Parker, my original daughter, my Sarah, she is the, the person that I live for. Without her, I don't have purpose. He's the best. I could not ask for a better on-screen dad. A lot of the time with acting, you're not always seeing what you're reading and what the audience is seeing. So a lot of the time you're kind of making up in your head, which on one hand is really amazing because you can create this whole narrative in your brain that then you get to follow through with. But on the other hand, it's like you're watching someone die and you're just staring at like a patch of grass and like, <gasps> The amazing thing about Fort McLeod is it was like, you could just really immerse yourself because it's all in front of you. Like, any time where I was scared, I was genuinely really scared. Dad? Oh, shit. And I just remember being like, oh my god. We are not sick! So this is how it begins. It begins with tragedy. Which is ultimately the event that shapes the character for the rest of the show, for the rest of his life. It is the point of identity for Joel. That kind of love, that unconditional love, is beautiful and can be very scary at the same time. We didn't do a lot of rehearsing because I think we both kind of wanted to savor all of the passion and everything. The feeling that I had after the first take of adrenaline. <laughs> the emotion there is heartbreaking and it's ugly the way she dies is is not pretty it's not meant to be pretty her death is the fulcrum point for everything my name is marlene i'm the leader of the fireflies in the boston qz i first met marlene almost exactly 10 years ago in 2012 it was to audition for the video game. As far as the HBO series, I don't remember when I first heard about it, but when I did, I was like, mommy want that. <laughs> did I think that they would actually cast me? No, I didn't. The hundreds of people that work on the game make you look like Marlene, make you look like the character and turn it into a masterpiece. It's another thing to step in front of the camera and embody her with my own instrument. And I had a couple of things on my side, which was I grew into her, I aged into her a little bit, and I guess my deep passion and love for her. As a writer, you're trying to construct a scenario where like, a person is trying to avoid a fate worse than death. For Joel, it'd be losing a daughter again, and he probably would not survive that. So then how do we put him in a situation where now he has to be with this girl and he immediately tries to reject it. You're gonna do it. The hell I'm not we going are. With them. We don't have time for this. Joel is a broken man and he meets this kid. Ellie's not a big fan of Joel when she first meets him. <laughs> Their initial meeting doesn't really set them up to be the greatest of friends, but I think that's also because they're like similar personalities. They just clash and they don't know how to relate to each other yet. <laughs> In the final moments of this episode, Joel forgets that the girl that is standing behind him is not his daughter. 
primitive instinct takes over. He can't help but act. Something else took control of him in a similar way to how the cordyceps does, and except for him, it's a version of love. The most remarkable thing about that moment is that when Ellie watches him beating a man to death, she is activated. Earlier in the episode, when Sarah sees him killing this old woman who's infected, who he has to kill. He killed her. She cries. Believe me, I'm sorry. Ellie doesn't cry. Ellie likes it. She likes the idea of somebody defending her like that, and she likes the idea of that guy being punished. And this is where you begin to see the problem, but also the deliciousness of the pairing. These two were meant to be together, but look out. What's going on if you're acting very strange? Monday, January 29th. You and the fire is like a superhero. If you let me save your life, you'd be saving mine. Fire Country. Special episode Sunday, January 29th, after the AFC Championship game on scene.